Welcome to the Colonel's Softball Express. EKU warming up for the next two games of the Frost Classic. They would take on Toledo and Northern Kentucky University. First one against Toledo. Pitts and Barger in the circle, and in the top of the first, Ernst would loop a one-out single into shallow left field. Two batters later, Tobias would single the right, and the ball gets under Costa's glove and allows Ernst to come around third to score. Tobias would make it all the way to third, but that's as far as she would get. So we'll move to the Colonel's half of the first with one out. Joyce rips a double in the left center. After a Mitchell foul out, Tackett would launch a two-run bomb over the center field fence to give EKU a 2-1 lead. Toledo would tie the game on Behunin's solo shot to left in the second. Shinazi would then leg out an infield single to lead off the bottom of the second. She would move to second on the passed ball. Costa would then loop one over Turkovich at short. Shinazi rounds third and slides safely ahead under the throw. It would be all EKU after that. With Fobbs on first in the fourth, Emily Kincaid lines one to right, and Fobbs would score on the Tobias overthrow. Costa would then force Toledo to make another error and allow Kincaid to score, and then Costa would move to third on a passed ball. Joyce would then drive Costa in to give the Colonels a 6-2 lead. Then in the fifth... With Selick on second and Shinazi on first, Fobbs launches a three-run tater to finish the scoring and give Eastern a 9-2 lead. Pitts and Barger would then strike out the side in the seventh to, fin- to seal the win. She'd go the distance, allow two runs, striking out ten. Shailen Robb pitching in game two against Northern Kentucky University gets Poppy swinging with a runner on to end the first. EKU loaded their bases in their half of the first, and Selick would lift a sack fly to left. Scoring house. NKU would get an unearned run in the second to tie the game. Nicole Heights would then stroke this RBI single in the fourth to give EKU a run-run advantage. Then in the top of the sixth, Davis ties the game for Northern with an RBI single. These ladies love playing so much they wanted to keep going, so we move into the top of the ninth. Northern has a runner on third, but Pitsenbarger would get Carson to strike out to end the inning. So now we'll go to the bottom of the ninth. Howes is on third. The pitch gets away from Lank, and Howes comes scampering in, and she'll slide safely in under the tag. So the Colonels win it. 3-2 and send Northern home with the bad taste in their mouth like finding sand in their sandwich. The Colonel's got one more game left in the Frost Classic. This has been David Miller with the Softball Express.